Today I'm going to show you how to create these text bubbles for your chat. I'll show you how to set them up, customize them, and get them into OBS ready for your next stream. Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial video. If you haven't seen my channel before, hi, I'm Malidi, I'm a streamer and content creator. Recently, I've been refreshing a ton of my stream assets, and one of the things I updated was my starting soon scene. I had this idea to make it look a little like a desk, and I thought it would be cool to showcase my chat as if my chat was texting me during the starting soon scene. Everyone really enjoyed it, and it was well received. It did take me a little while to figure out how to get these bubble chat widgets, so I thought I would share that with you guys. The particular widget I used was created for Stream Elements, so you will need a Stream Elements account. You can find a link to the customizable chat box through the Stream Elements Discord under the Widget Share channel. I've also included the link to the original post in the description of this video. The link in the Discord post should open the Stream Elements overlay menu, and you should now see an option for Box Chat by Coca. Select Edit to open the Stream Elements design window. If you signed up to Stream Elements with Twitch or have already connected your Twitch account to Stream Elements, you should be able to immediately start testing what this chat box looks like. Head to your Twitch chat page and send test messages to see how the default preset looks. Select the layer in the left hand side menu to start playing with customization settings. For design changes, you'll find all the settings under typography. You can change font type, size, background colors. Keep in mind that a black font on a white background is always going to be the most accessible. I personally chose to remove the nickname background to have like a really clean look and you can do that in the nickname background color and then selecting the very bottom of the opacity scale. In the settings menu you can choose how many messages will be displayed at one time and how long they'll be displayed for. Finally you can check the position, size and style menu to change the aspect ratio of the chat box. These are all the basic settings that you have available to you, but make sure to click through all the settings to see what you have available. And if you fancy yourself a coder, you do have access to the full code through this open editor button. And you can edit in here and go customization crazy. Once you're happy with how the chat bubbles are appearing, hit save, and then select the chain link icon just to the left. In OBS, select add a source under the sources menu and select a browser source. Give your source a name and select OK. In the setting pop-up, paste in the URL we copied from Stream Elements in the URL field. Also make sure your width and height measurements match what you have set up in the Stream Elements Designer. Now the chat box should be displayed in your scene. I slightly rotated my chat box to fit with the phone screen in the background, but have fun playing around with how you want to use yours. I hope you guys found this tutorial useful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future ones. And hopefully I catch you for the next tutorial. Fire. That record be making a scene.